As well, like everyone, it is time for week four of the Muslim Space Arts and Crafts. This week is we're going um, is this packet, and we're going to make a cute little sheet that you can put on a banner or you can put it anywhere. Um, just display it if you'd like. Um, why a sheep? Well, you know, there's this correlation of a sacrifice, a kurbani, and so we just thought it'd be fun to make a little sheep. And you, like I said, we can decorate it anywhere on the house. So you can just make a couple of them, string them up on a banner. I think we've given you enough that you should be able to make more than one. But let's go through it. A couple of things you're going to need before you get started um, from your own house. You'll need a ruler. Not required, but a ruler. A pencil. And you can use glue. I'm going to go ahead and use a glue gun for this. But um, it could pretty much be other glue if long as it doesn't stay. Okay, so in your packet, what are you going to find? There is a ball of yarn. Um, it's a soft, squishy chenille yarn. It's really nice. You'll find a piece of um, black foam, a shiny black foam. You will also find four palm pots. These are going to be the sheep's feet. So this is the only thing that you would have to purchase more if you wanted to make more, or these and the eyeballs. And some adorable eyeballs um, with little eyelashes on them. All right, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take your yarn, and there's a piece of tape holding it. So go ahead and take that tape off and cut about an eight inch ish piece of a yarn. Now, if you um, if you don't have a ruler with you, that's perfectly fine. Just kind of guess. It'd probably be like. If you're a little kid, hands probably be about like that much, but whatever. It's just you just need some yarn that's going to be um, what ends up tying your pom pom together. So I will go ahead and cut mine. Now you're going to take this piece that you have cut, and I'm going to take my ring off and work on my left hand, and I am going to stick that between my middle two fingers, just like that. Then you're going to start. Now this ball does tend to roll, so keep that in mind. Keep this in front of you, and you're going to start. Keep these two are going to stay here, so we don't need those. But you're going to take this yarn and you're going to wrap it around your hand um, loosely, around about 70 times. Now, don't start making it really tight. Um, you're if you start feeling like your fingers are losing circulation or starting purple, you're going too tight. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it real loosely and just start counting. And you don't want to make sure you don't end up pulling that original string I did. So now I've got to pull it back out. Um, another way to avoid doing that is you could actually tape this down to your hand. And I might do that because now I have to start over because I lost count. So it's okay if you have to do that. I didn't get very far. But let me grab some tape. Put it on so this time I'm actually just going to stick. Like put a piece of tape on either side that'll keep my yarn from moving. Okay, now I'm going to start over. So I'm going to do about 70 turns. Oops. Okay, so I went ahead and did 70. I didn't count them out loud. Um, my ball did roll. And it, I can see I have plenty to do another one later. But I've got kind of a big chunk of yarn on my hands. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Oh, see, it. so we also need a first. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Um, we won't need any more of this for now. Just for this one. Okay, these scissors are not working. Scissors have been used for a lot of projects in my house lately, and so they are a little bit dull. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to this original string that we've taped to our hands. Now I can take the tape off. I don't need it anymore for that purpose. And you're going to bring it up and around. Now, don't tie it completely yet, but just kind of hold on to it. You can go ahead and make a loose knot, like just putting one over the other. It through 
You don't need to make it tight yet. All right, once you've done that, just gently slide the whole thing off your hands. Keep hold on that one. Mine doesn't want to stay knotted, and so that's okay. All right, so now I've got it here, pull it off, and I'm going to take those two ends that I had originally and just tie it as tight as I can in a double knot. So what that means is go around once, tie it, and then hold it down, and then do a second knot. You need this to keep the whole thing together. This is also the same way you make any other pom-pom. So once you know how to make one pom-pom, you can make lots of pom-poms. Okay, so now I have a little ball of this. This is where I'm probably gonna switch to a better pair of scissors. Now you're gonna take all these little loopies, all the loopies, and you're gonna cut them all in half. <laughs> Oh. So as long as you've got it knotted, then it will stay together. And because these are a good pair of scissors, I can actually go pretty fast and cut all the loops at once. But you just kind of keep looking. If you have any more loops, just cut them apart. Now your pom pom's not going to be super clean at this point. It's going to be a little bit of a messy pom pom, and that is perfectly okay. We will get to the next step where we're going to clean it up. Just make sure you don't have any loops because that's not a pom pom. That is ball of yarn. All right, so you can see mine's pretty messy right now, right? But I think I got them all cut. Oh, I'm making a whole shell of snow here. So keep that in mind, it'll be a little bit messy. Okay, so the next part, I think this is the most fun part, is you're actually going to clean this up. So what you do is you just kind of go, go around this guy, making little cuts. And your goal in the end is to make a nice, neat little ball. You can take a lot of hair off, you can take a little bit of hair off, but once you kind of get it a little bit less straggly looking, then you know you're done. Oh, see, I'm just making quick cuts all around, fluffing it up as I go. It's an easy way to fluff. And a cute little pom pom ball. There we go. Oh, I found one that I did not flip originally. All right, so. Now I have a little pom pom ball. Oh, there's still a few extra long. And you can always trim these later, so it's not a big deal. If you miss a few, you can just go back and do them again. All right, so I have a big pile of stuff in front of me. Now I have uh, went ahead and plugged in my glue gun when I started this, but you don't have to do it then, you can do it later. All right, now we need to make a little face for this guy. This is our little sheep. And he needs a face. So he also doesn't need that. So put it in here. Okay. The easiest way to make a face is to start by making a big U. So just draw the, uh, the letter U on the back and up here in color. Can you see that? So I need the letter U. Then on top of the U, you want to basically draw an upside down hot dog shape. That's what we'll give you the curve of the ears. Now, can you see that? Oh, right there. Okay, so you got, see, I started with the U and then I kind of made an upside down hot dog or a banana, whatever shape you want to call it. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a little face of a sheep. That, once you have the shape, then go ahead and cut that. Just a little, the U shape, a hot dog shape on top, and there we go. All right, so now this is my head, that my sheep's head. Okay, you can pick up your eyeballs, and now I made my head kind of small, but that's okay. Okay, so the eyeballs are going to go kind of towards the top near 
these are the ears. The hot dog part is the ears. So right there is where I'm going to put my eyeballs. So it's quite a little bit under the hot dog shape. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down using my hot glue gun. But let me check if these actually are. A lot of times these actually have. Oh, yes, they do. So if you want to peel the paper off the back of the eyeball, it's actually sticky. And then you could just use that. And I will stick that down. Right. There's one. It's a little bit, there's a little tiny knot which you can use to grab the first part. Another thing to do if you really can't get that little part started is to use a, with your parents help, a like a sewing pin or a um, some sort of needle. Okay, so I made my head a little bit small, but actually it's kind of cute. I like it that way. But so I stuck those two eyeballs on there. Isn't he cute? Now I'm going to use that marker that is included in your kit, the ghost silver marker, and you want to make a little face, a little nose and mouth. And the easiest way to do that is basically make an upside down letter Y at the bottom of your. I just made a little letter Y. I see so cute. All right, now it's time to put this together. And again, you can always go back and trim a little bit more if you'd like. It's just a nice, soft, fuzzy little ball right now. Okay, we're gonna start by putting the feet. So you wanna take your two, the, there's four feet, obviously, the sheep has. But we're gonna do to make it easier is we're gonna actually connect these two, connect these two, and then we'll glue it to Mr. Um, Puffball right now. So I'll put a little piece, a little drop of uh, hot glue in between. Now you got to be real careful when you use hot glue. I've already burned myself a few times. Just stick those together. Let that sit for a minute. And I'll do the same thing on the other one. So you have four pom poms, which become two sets of feet. And then once you have those done and they're, they're a little bit dry, then you can put a, some hot glue right across the top of it. And then attach that to the bottom of your... There's his little front feet. How cute are you? And then do the same thing with the back. So put some glue on top. And glue that to the back. So see, now I've got a little, little ball with four feet on the bottom. Now it's actually six. So we'll fluff them back up a little bit. Oh, I forgot one loop. Now you still have the opportunity to do any shaping you like. Yeah, I'm making a huge mess, so keep it empty. Now I'm going to take my cute little face and I'm going to glue it onto the front of the ball. So I'll just put a little glue in the back. And stick that right on there. And now we have a little sheep. Super easy, simple craft. And as you can see, I have a pretty big ball of yarn, so I could easily make another face. I could make another ball, probably two more. And we've given you enough that you could actually make a few more of the um, faces out of here. Now, we didn't give you more googly eyes, but that's okay. What you can do is just draw them on with your marker. Or if you have some googly eyes at home, you are free to grab those. Let's see how cute and simple that is. There you go, Mr. Sheep. So there you go. That is a Muslim Space Craft for week four. I hope you've enjoyed this series and look forward to doing it again next year. I've already started thinking about ideas for next year. So I hope you've had a great Ramadan and we'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.